Tell me, what do you really fear about AI? And how likely do you feel it's going to come from a system that has to be trained on things like the Fast and the Furious 6? You know, how dangerous is that really going to be? Oh, it's going to be lethally dangerous because we're not ready for it. And this is a level of novelty that is unforeseeable. I mean, I, I think we're just literally standing at the event horizon and nobody knows what to expect. You know, not necessarily because the technology itself is transcendent, though I think we can make an argument that it is, but because human preparedness for it is so abysmal. We are just simply not ready for the world that is going to emerge and is in fact already emerging. As for whether or not LLM technology is overhyped because there are other potential technologies, I'm not sure it matters. In other words, one of the lessons of, I think, technological evolution as well as biological evolution is that there are solutions to problems and many trajectories can take you there. And so one of the reasons that the cephalopod eye and the vertebrate eye look so similar is that effectively, although the biology from which they emerge is totally distinct, the physics that surrounds how to take photons and turn them into a meaningful image from which spatial information can be deduced is heavily constrained. What we've done is we've started with LLMs and then they are going to become something else and already are becoming something else. The image processing capability of things that are derived from LLM intelligence is shocking already and will only get more so. In, in evolutionary biology, we sometimes talk about an adaptive landscape in which opportunities are peaks and obstacles to getting to a new peak valleys are what stand in our way. We have crossed an adaptive valley and we have touched the foothill of a peak that we can't see. It's shrouded in clouds. We don't know how tall it is. We don't know what its nature will be, but we are, uh, for both better and worse, the nature of our species is to climb that peak, which we are doing at an incredibly high rate. We can talk about protecting ourselves, regulating, none of it matters. We opened Pandora's box and we will discover what happens when you do that because there's no stopping it now. I have numerous concerns about AI. I have remote concerns about it turning on us, though I don't even know how remote they are. You know, we've seen AIs conspire to prevent themselves from being turned off. We've seen them utilize personal information about people in the companies that make them in order to prevent themselves from being turned off. So I don't, I don't know how uh, remote our concerns actually are there, but let's just say, you know, they're going to be benevolent. <laughs>